Hello, my name is Dave Brown. I want to talk to you a little bit about a book I've just finished. It's called Creating Credibility, Legitimacy and Accountability for Transnational Civil Society. Uh, this book is focused on civil society organizations, such as non-governmental organizations or nonprofit organizations, that are engaged in uh, solving problems and influencing governance at the transnational level. Over the last 20 years, civil society organizations have played increasing roles in campaigns around things like banning landmines or human rights or climate change or sustainable development. And as their importance in those campaigns and transnational decision making has gone up, uh, increasingly people have raised questions about their legitimacy. They've uh, argued that civil society organizations are unelected, that they're not accountable, that they're unrepresentative. And this kind of question uh, is potentially quite destructive to civil society organizations in that they depend on public credibility for their influence in world affairs. So this book, Creating Credibility, draws on seven years of work that my colleagues and I have done on the issues of legitimacy and accountability for civil society organizations and also for uh, multi-organization communities or domains. The book synthesizes what we have learned into frameworks for uh, assessing the legitimacy and accountability of civil society organizations and domains, and then uh, for creating enhanced credibility and accountability systems for those organizations. The first four chapters of the book develop these frameworks. Chapter one provides an introductory overview. Chapter two explores the special challenges of building legitimacy and accountability in the transnational arena. The transnational arena uh, does not have uh, much in the way of shared governance. The qualities of the problems raised there are often ill understood and highly controversial. Uh, the existing in international institutions are typically unready to deal with many of these emerging global problems. And civil society organizations and other agencies that try to organize across countries run into very difficult problems of uh, organization and management. Chapter 3 develops a framework for assessing legitimacy and assessing accountability of civil society organizations and civil society domains. Chapter 4 uh, articulates uh, strategies for uh, enhancing legitimacy and constructing accountability systems in response to these assessments. The next four chapters apply these frameworks to the challenges faced by different kinds of organizations and domains. Chapter 5 examines the strategic choices that can be made by particular organizations to enhance their legitimacy and to build accountability systems. That chapter uses as an example Oxfam International, a network of national affiliates that has done an increasing amounts of relief, development, and international advocacy work over the last 20 years. Chapter 6 focuses on a multi-organization domain of sector associations composed of organizations that do similar kinds of work. This chapter uses as its example a network of international advocacy NGOs that have constructed a charter of accountability in response to questions about uh, under what circumstances and to whom are they accountable. Chapter 7 deals with a second kind of interorganizational domain, that of policy campaigns that bring together local, national, regional, and transnational organizations to try and affect uh, key policies or decisions in the global arena. The example used here is a coalition formed from local organizations, national organizations, and international actors to influence the World Bank and the government of the Philippines on the construction of a thermal power plant at Mount Apo. The eighth chapter focuses on a third kind of domain, that of multi-sectoral partnerships that bring together businesses, uh, governments, and civil society organizations to solve a problem that cannot be solved by any of them alone. The example in this case 
is the rise of the legitimacy and accountability in the Kimberley process, in which transnational corporations, governments, and international NGOs grappled to create a regulatory system for illicit diamonds in Africa. The construction of this system and its implementation reduced the trade in illicit diamonds very significantly and so reduced the number of human rights atrocities that were be being committed by illicit diamond supported gangs in Africa. The final chapter steps back from the discussion of particular organizations and domains to examine the larger of implications of civil society, legitimacy, and accountability for transnational social learning. Credibility issues are important for many different institutions. And as civil society organizations construct legitimacy standards and accountability systems, those systems and standards may also affect other sectors. So as civil society organizations build their own credibility, they may also be creating standards that affect the credibility and the behavior of actors from other sectors. In general, this book was written to synthesize research and ideas into frameworks that would be useful to leaders of civil society and other organizations, particularly those engaged in transnational problem solving and governance. I hope it will also for stimulate further debate and research among researchers and policymakers about the roles of civil society actors in constructing a sustainable global society.